Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we've got Sentinel, and we have Vox in the arena. Round one, over and done with, and we're going to take a look at the leaderboards. Uh, this was a nice, relaxing grind for me. I didn't go for either champion. I already have both of them. So it's awesome. I love it when that happens. So let's go ahead and take a look. Oh, that's too loud. Let's turn that down a little bit. Okay. All right, um, we're going to wait on Vox. I mean, uh, we're going to wait on Sentinel because I believe Sentinel was the uh, feature champion. So let's go with Vox. Vendetta, number one. All right, Xenia, okay. And shot, shot, boom. You guys were going for that Vox. Now, if you guys haven't seen my latest rank up video, I'm about to spoil it because I did rank up Vox. Vox seems to be a champion that I think is going to be quite useful to me uh, on my path, especially in Alliance War. He is immune to several things that give him a lot of utility, like power drain, power lock, power steel, I think. Um, a lot of power manipulation uh, he's immune to. Uh, I, he's more like I think uh, Gallon, because I know Hulkling also has a lot of power manipulation um, immunities, but he can still be power locked. Hulkling can. Gallon cannot be. But I forgot there was something that Gallon can be that Hulkling cannot be. But um, that's pretty much how it is. So he can be quite useful. I believe they both are immune to power drain. Don't quote me on that. Um, I haven't done a real good comparison, um, but Vox definitely has a use. Laser John, congratulations. Laser John be grinding arena like I used to. Dallas champs. I remember the Dallas cheerleaders. Love them. Love them from when I was a kid. Of course, the Dallas cheerleaders that I remember are no longer Dallas cheerleaders. You know, but still, that was that was actually they were my team primarily when I was younger. They were my team primarily because of the cheerleaders. I mean, you think about it. You hear about the Dallas cheerleaders. How many other cheerleaders do you hear about? You know, they have great cheerleaders for the other squads, but the Dallas cheerleaders were like famous. You know, and I remember watching uh with my dad and he he always got a tickle out of it because of course i didn't know anything about any of the teams or anything so you know he would be like all right which team do you want and so i would pick a team just just because you know um but i remember the uh cowboys and the washington um i think redskins Tell you how long ago it's been, but I believe it was the Redskins also. Um, they're the one that had like Joe Theismann, quarterback. Um, don't quote me because I don't really watch sports. Since my dad passed away, that that was pretty much it. Um, had my dad uh, remained alive, we probably would have. Um, I would have been more into it because I was an activity that we did. But once he passed away. I lost interest in even wanting to watch any of that. I'm sure you guys can understand. Now, I did play, you know, whenever I could. But just watching it, the only sport I really watched, <laughs> Beta Ray Dritz. So you like Beta Ray Bill and you like Dritz. Okay. Okay. I feel you. I feel you. Um, I watched uh, basketball, but not all basketball. I basically watched Jordan. I liked watching Jordan play. So when it came to like some games, if I could, um, and he was playing, I would watch it. Otherwise, didn't really, you know, care one way or another. When he stopped the first time i also stopped watching 
when he came back. I watched a little bit more, but that was that. Anyway, there's a little history on, on me and uh, sports watching. If you guys hadn't told me or somebody hadn't mentioned something about a Super Bowl, I wouldn't have known a thing. All right. Here we go. Oh, man. Stormbreaker. Okay. Uh, a sister alliance to my old alliance. X-Men. Who's the C, though? It's X-Men Colossus? Is that who that was? Hmm. Anyway, congratulations. Last Zarnian, congratulations, man. You just killing it. Shasha boom, double dipping. Mm-hmm. We got you. Thunderbolts. Papato. Red light. Is that red light, green light, one, two, three, or the red light district? Inquiring minds want to know. All right. Uh, what is that? Tars. Tars. Wait. Tarstra. Hmm. I'm not sure. Might not get that one. Healthy and happy. I said it before. I'll say it again. I like that name. That's what's up right there. Okay, Z Fighters. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Freddy! Oh, man. My uh, One of my friends who has um, passed on, I remember he came over one time, and he wanted to get me to watch a scary movie. And I'm like, I don't really like scary movies. I just, I just don't. And he's like, come on, you got to watch at least one scary movie. I was like, all right. So we went up, just walked up, and um, we had a, a store very close by that we could uh, rent videos from. And so I laid down a list of words that could not be in the title. I ain't one nothing that said devil, Satan, hell. You know, I had a list. And so, you know, um, and it was funny because the guy that was behind the counter, he was just like, man, you just got rid of uh, most of them. I said, good. I don't want none of those. So we came out with two scary movies. One was Nightmare on Elm Street. And the other was um, Evil Dead. And I think we got both of them. I think we got Evil Dead and Evil Dead 2 and Nightmare on Elm Street. Needless to say, I found them both hilarious. I did not find them scary at all. And he was so mad because he wanted something scary. And it turns out that these weren't really scary. And I remember uh, Nightmare on Elm Street because... My sister, Stiletto Green, she was a little girl. And, of course, she wanted to be with us. Now, I'm there hanging out with my boys. And we're watching a movie that she shouldn't be watching. And so I told her, I was just like, no, you cannot watch this with us. So she runs upstairs, as little girls might do, and complains to my grandmother. And my grandmother says... Whatever you're doing, let her do it too. If it's something she can't do, then you shouldn't be doing it either. Which, of course, is not fair. We're not anywhere near the same age. I said, okay. So I let her go ahead, come on down and watch it. Now, I'm laughing. They're laughing. We're having fun. She had nightmares for a while. I was like, hey, you, you, you forced me to do it. I, I'm, I'm, I'm just following what you said. You know, I, I vetoed it. I said no. She was too young to be watching something like that. You said, basically, threaten me. I couldn't watch it unless I let her watch it. 
That's pretty much what they were telling me. So I said, okay, sit on down and enjoy yourself. And she didn't. <laughs> but that was the last time she tried that, though. I'll tell you that. Anyway, that is going to do it, guys, for this video. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day. Thank you.